We're all hyped for Soul Crown, guys. We have the uh, Hydrapple. Everyone's a fan of Hydrapple. We have the Ore Form, the Full Art. We have the Terrapagos, the Chase card, of course. Everyone loves that card. The Rainbow Borders are immaculate. And the Lapras SIR. What's up, little pups? Today we're gonna be talking about Stellar Crown right before its release. I'm going to give you guys my exact thoughts on the set, and we're going to see and compare with the other sets how great this set objectively is in terms of like quantity of cards. Because the thing is that quality of cards, these cards are about the same level of artwork and art style and you know effort put into them into art as the other sets so i mean uh, let's just look at the terra pagos first beautiful card amazing card it probably still isn't in my top five sars in all of scarlet violet scarlet violet has been going insanely hard especially in the ir and the sir departments but anyways let's go and see what we have here all right so this is the set this is the set that we're looking at um i came straight to the sars we have the hydrapple galvantula dash bun the dog the uh the dog everyone's talking about the food dog lacy and breer <sighs> Lacey, to be honest, to me, is like an Iono 2.0. I am not going to lie. Breer is the card that I actually think has more detail and is better looking than the Lacey. But in Japanese, the Lacey is the one that governs the uh, the, the, the whole set in Japanese Stellar Miracle. Of course, the Terrapagos. That is definitely going to be the card I'm looking for. The Terrapagos for sure. That is, uh, that is a gorgeous card. Not going to lie. Now, is it in the top five? of SIRs maybe 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 um I mean are, are people really gonna care about Galvantula EX dash bun uh Hy Hydrapple though I will give it to Hydrapple Hydrapple is really dope no the one card I really hoped really really hoped would have gotten an SIR holy man I hoped for this was the Lapras, of course, the Lapras. That was the card. I said, bro, if they made a Lapras SAR, this set would be insanely hyped up. And, uh, I mean, the set is, uh, you know, it, it's not, it's not, like, d terrible. It's not trash. But it is on par with Shrouded Fables and, uh, Darkness, uh, not Darkness of Blades, Obsidian Flames. Uh, it even matches the number of SIRs to Obsidian Flames. Obsidian Flames has six SIRs. This set also has six SIRs. Now, do you want to know how many SIRs the other sets have? All right, let's see. What do we have? We have the we have Twilight Masquerade. Let's go into the special art department. We have a, a total total number of SIRs: one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now you might say that the ogre ponds aren't really that great. No one cares about the ogre ponds or Sinistra. The thing is that the the number of SARs helps to the rarity of the top chase card. For example, the Greninja X, a three hundred dollar card. You know, it's really hard when you have ten other SARs to that could be in the same spot as the Greninja. Now, how hard will it be to get the Terrapagos? It would be almost like half as hard or or twice as easy, almost, you know, a, a, close to like half as easy because it's six versus 11. But anyways, uh, let's go into the other set, an older set, Temporal Fo Paradox Rift. No, let's go into Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces, how many does Temporal Forces have? Temporal Forces has, has Temporal Forces has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 10, one less, but honestly, uh, this set is amazing, uh, I, I, honestly, I, I really like the Raging Bolt, the Iron Crown, uh, two of, those are, those belong in the, in the top five, to be honest, but, uh, maybe not to a lot of people who are just casual fans, maybe like you guys, for example, but anyways, uh, Paradox Rift, let's just look at Paradox Rift, where the total number of SARs, we have a 1, a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 SIRs. I didn't even, I didn't even remember this. What the heck? I honestly, I, I, I didn't even think I saw the Sandy Shocks before. Not going to lie to you. 
Holy 40 SIRs compared that to 6 SIRs. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, honestly, as much as as much hate as Shroud of Fable gets, I honestly think Shroud of Fable I like it more than Stellar Crown. <laughs> not because uh, uh, the Cassiopeia, the Persian IR, the um, honestly, uh, I, I'm a bigger fan of the, of the Loyal Three, Big Loyal Three. The only card that carries this set for me, Stellar Crown, is uh, gonna be this card, the Terra Pagos. It is a gorgeous card. I am definitely going to be hunting for it, um, and. I, I hate how Pokemon just fumbles everything. Like, why not give Lapras an SIR, dude? What is happening, my guy? But anyways, guys, uh, Stellar Crown is going to be, you know, the uh, appetizer to all the other bangers that are going to come next year and all this with the uh, Surging Sparks, which already confirmed has 11 SIRs, the same as Twilight Masquerade. We're going to have the Terrasto Fe Festival with the Evolutions. We're only going to have a, a lot of SARs there because of the Evolutions. Um, the Team Rocket set, which, uh, uh, who knows, maybe we'll get the whole Kanto Poison type lineup, <laughs> the whole uh, Team Rocket lineup as an SIR, maybe even the Grimers and the Rattatas. The top 1% Rattatas. But anyways, guys, yes, uh, Stellar Crown. Uh, I didn't even count the IRs. Because the thing is that the IRs, you can already see the amount of IRs is like on par with the other sets too. It's literally on par. It's it's almost a, it, like you can just you can just skim over Paradox Rift, bro. Look at all these IRs from Paradox Rift. Paradox Rift is enormous and Temper Force has almost as, you know, it's, it's literally the same amount of IRs. And you can't really say that the IRs here are better looking than the IRs from the other sets. Like they... Every set has a banger IRs. Paradox Rift has the uh, has the the Steelix, if uh, the Steelix IR, the Groudon IR, the Velt IR. Those, those are insane. You have the Inferni from Twilight. The uh, you have the uh, the Leiron was pretty cool. The Tatsugiri, the Eevee, hello, the Eevee, and from Temporal, the famous from Temporal, the famous. Um, the famous uh, uh, Ghastly card that um, almost rose to like $75, but yeah, guys, I, I you know, we are going to get, I oh, I did forget, we are going to get a Squirtle and a Bulbasaur IR in Star Crown, but I, I definitely don't think it's enough to care or to like help this set out that much, to be honest. Uh, I know a lot of you are going to love those cards, but I, I'm not, you know, I, I, I prefer, honestly, I prefer the... Uh, I prefer the Eevee, I prefer the Groudon or the other ones I got, I don't really, it is, you know, it's whatever. But anyways guys, that was it, let me know your guys' your guys' opinion on what I'm saying in this video, uh, maybe you are a diehard fan of Star Crown, I would love to know your reasons why, and we'll catch you on the next news.